Listen, your life is a movie. Every small decision you make is basically a cutscene. Every cutscene of the movie, you know, which you watch movie, you watch Netflix, you watch series, whatever it is, and the guy sips some coffee. <sighs> Or the guy check his phone, scrolling down TikTok and Instagram. Every little moment, every ordinary moment that you experience. Is a cut scene. This is basically my theme. Live your life a movie, right? And I believe life is a movie. And I was writing, writing an email, and then I literally, every time, I make sure that there is always a film. There's somebody's filming me. That's how I go and do my tasks and things. I play main character, and this is something that I've learned from my mother. And well. Let me stop you right there because if this goes too extreme, you're only just afraid and insecure. But if you understand us in some degree that you are always being watched, then you will change the way you behave. And it perhaps sounds like oh, you care about other people's opinion. It's not the way. You decide how you represent yourself. You decide how to how you carry yourself, and then that essentially directly communicates to other people, right? Other people will see you confident. Other people will see you attractive person. Other people will see you like, oh my god, he or she is got something. That's depending on how you carry yourself, depending on how you show up as. And obviously, you can just hold zero energy within yourself, zero confidence, the internal. Internal certainty and a conviction within yourself as who you are, you can just show up and nobody gives a shit. You're essentially invisible to the world. But even if you're no one, even if you don't have followers, even if you're successful, even if you're just just yourself enjoying your life. But if you have that certainty and conviction, if you hold on to this core value within your life, people will notice you're not invisible. This visibility. As an individual, as a as a person, as a who you are, it will det- it will be determined by how much internally you are certain and strong, and is so connected. When you just strip everything, it comes down to who you are as a person, right? What do you say? The words you say, the way you speak, the way you show up, the way you walk, where you stand, the way you look at some people. That's who you are, and. What people don't understand is when you actually strip everything, do you still have that ability to influence? Do you still have that ability to gaze at a people's soul through their eyes? You need to develop that if you want to play the main character. If you want to be this amazing hero of your story, rather than just extra. Some people play very strong character, and these people can swallow you into their movie. You pro- you probably understand what I'm talking about. If somebody comes into your life and then can easily, who is very powerful, who believes in themselves, who is so confident and charismatic, and who is just, I am here to take what I deserve. Like if they're so certain, they can literally swallow you, and then you instantaneously you are now just a side character, and who has zero ability to bring your shift back into a movie. And in communication, there's a word called frame, and this essentially decides who is in charge of the conversation. And if you have a weak frame in a conversation, then you will basically lose in pretty much anything. Like the conversation is always paced and led by somebody who holds the frame. And the same goes to our life. You show up with so much energy and a strong a mentality and a certainty and a charisma. And perhaps also self-love. You show up as who you are, and then you know, unapologetically, then you can influence that, and then you can be willing to, you know, willingly be inside the character to inspire other people. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing to be. That's a beautiful thing to experience as well. 
But if you always mindlessly and knowingly, unconsciously, swallowed by other people's movie, when are you going to play your main character and then direct your movie? Like imagine the Avengers is a bunch of losers. Let's say, let's imagine this, okay? Let's imagine this. Let's imagine this. Imagine that Iron Man, Spider Man, and all these cool characters, Wonder Woman.、Uh, she's、oh, she's Avengers, right? Okay, because I'm not really、um, knowledgeable in that. But imagine these people are absolutely lazy. Imagine Sp- Spider Man is normal, you know, teenager, and they still can do this, psh, 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 and they still have the suit, which is like, oh shit! There's a lot of bad people in New York. God, man, I mean, let me just paint my nail. So we have all this, we have all this common sense to judge what hero should be and what main character should be. So we have this certain understanding, the characteristic trait in every main character. Of course, everyone is different, but they're strong, mentally strong. They never give up. You know, they fight back. They're kind, and they have this charisma. Even though, like Harry Potter, was absolute pussy when <laughs> when he showed up. I, I'm a huge fan of Harry Potter, by the way. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Harry Potter, but the, the entire story paints that his growth. Like, he started as a, basically P U S S Y, and I kind of like that to say P U S S Y. But anyway, he show up as someone who's not, absolutely not main character ish. But everyone start there. I started there too. Everyone start from this person or character who's definitely not main character like. But that's that's a beautiful thing. We all start from there, and then go through the journey, go through each chapters, and then we grow into the character that we. Want to be so now you watch this video, right? Or perhaps you realize that before you already you already in the first chapter of your movie. You have to understand it's okay to be there. It's okay that you are in the current situation. You are you're where you are because the most important thing is to understand where you are and where you want to get to. Understand the storyline, right? This is where I start. I show up. Perhaps it's 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 not it's not the best version of myself. You know, I don't like myself, and I hate myself. There's a lot of setback and obstacles, and there's a lot of weak, weak mentality. But I am going to be this fantastic hero. So you paint the picture. You understand the way you want to get to. You understand the storyline, because you're the creator. You're the director. You design the whole movie, and you get to play in it. And these movies are very short. It's just two hours, or perhaps three hours. But if you actually pay attention. The story itself is such a long period of time. The next ten years, you grow into this best version of yourself, and then just play an amazing main character. Because that's how I feel. When I started it, like the self development journey was like seven years ago, right? Like when I started to meditate, when I was twenty three years old. And of course, I was playing a really weak main character, which was my start. Because my start of my dire- me directing my movie is not when I was born. When I started directing movie, when I started to meditate, it was when I was 23 years old. I was more aware, my consciousness has expanded, and I was re- I was realizing a lot of things, and then I was exploring the ideas in life and reality. And then I found out that I am playing the main character, and at the same time, I was doing modeling. Actually, I was gonna say that my mom told me that you know you're always being watched. Well, perhaps I said it, but again, it really taught me something. At the same time, it really made me insecure as well, because as I said, if you if this idea becomes extreme, you're just afraid of being watched and you're caring other people. That's very Japanese, you know,、uh, way. And especially, I think my parents' generation have that mentality a lot. And I see a lot of、uh, the women in that age, forty, fifty, sixty years old, are caring other people's、um, opinions and like how they're perceived, how they're looked. I understand that, and I think as a woman, they want to be, you know, seen as a beautiful woman, and I think I understand that too. But you have to understand, 
and from the perspective of being model, you are always being watched. The way you walk, right? If you're walking like like this, then of course people look at you and like, what the fuck? And if you want to be confident, if you want to be that person you want to be, look at all these movies. People standing straight, like a fucking hero, like a main character. Every decisions that you will make. Imagine just walking down the street in a supermarket. Imagine that there is somebody filming you. You walk like a fucking hero. You walk like a this amazing, beautiful man or woman. Just imagine. Just play with your mind, imagination, fantasy. We all have that. Okay, we're so fucking good at imagining and、uh, fantasizing the life. So imagine that it's just a supermarket. Just put some nice jacket and walk down the street like you're a fucking big deal. Okay. Don't pretend. Just be. Be that character you want to be. Be that person you want to be. This dream version of yourself. If you're waiting for yourself to be that person, you'll never, you'll never be. You, you'll never be that person. You have to start being that person. And even if these small things. Imagine, do you want to see your movie? Ten years later, I want to look back. This is the decade of the the history and the story that becomes a movie. Do you want to watch it? You're just like scrolling down and like.、Hmm, bo, 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 bo. You want to see you explore life. You want to see yourself challenges, and you look back in hindsight and like, ah, like look at this. I did this. Yeah, it was it was painful, but you know, good experience. Or I've learned so much, and this is was this was actually life changing experience. And you want to see that. You want to watch this. You growing into amazing version of yourself, and it's so beautiful to to be able to witness your own growth like that. I feel every year I feel like I am becoming the best version of myself every fucking year. Last year, I thought I became somebody that I wanted to be because I turned thirty years old and I look back and I was like, "Well, I came a long way." And I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm happy. I'm fulfilled. But I also want to keep continue this journey. But now, it's been almost one year from my thirtieth birthday, which is April. Now it's January twenty twenty four. So it's been、uh, how long? Nine months. And I feel like wow, I am a lot better. That myself just turned thirty years old. I feel better, and I am better, and I'm knowledgeable. I have more skills, and I have more understanding. I have more charisma, and I feel like I have, I carry so much stronger energy within myself, and I have so much aura expanded. And every year, that's how I feel. Why? Because I focus on these small cutscenes. These cutscenes makes me feel this way. In, th- in in one year later or nine months later, and imagine you just build up that small cat scene. You can only pour a little water, just a little water, in this one cat scene, or in one day. But after one year, two years, three years, four years, you have so much water in your cup. And that's your legacy. That's your growth. That's your aura. That's your energy. That's your charisma. That's your confidence. That's your love. That's how much you are expanded as an individual, as a human being. And do you think that version of yourself can make your dream come true? Absolutely. Absolutely. Imagine you're being watched, but not the way that you feel insecure. That you show up. Make sure that the camera is filming. Make sure you every cat see. You kill it. You crush it. You nailed it. Even just a cup of coffee. Like this is something that I've learned as a model, as a fashion model. Even just drinking coffee, you can make it so sexy. You can make it so moody. That's why all the actors is so good at doing those ordinary things in the movie. But it seems like fuck, it's so cool because it's movement. Actually, carry energies and it inspire people. 
And this is subcommunication. So people will look at you, like visually see you, and perceive your energy and who you are and your movement, and have some certain image, right? They're judging you. So even a cup of coffee. Imagine there's some somebody filming, right? If you're alone in your room, nobody gives a shit if you like trying to look, drink coffee, cool, or sexy. Nobody gives a shit, but. The way you get used to that being that way, you're making a change. You're making change to tap into that energy rather than just like absolutely invisible. You gotta be fast, visible. And how do you do that? A simple trick. This is very men a simple mental trick. Imagine go to the supermarket, whatever you do, write an email, whatever you do. Imagine that somebody's filming. Not a filming like a paparazzi thing, but a filming. You're moving. With this said, live your life like a movie, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Live your life like a movie.